headaches. I said, oh, well, you know, headaches, yeah. do you have headaches? Oh, you know, like, you know, where are your headaches? She's like, oh, you know, I mean, I feel like there's this vice grip on the top of my head once in a while. So, um, you know, certainly when I hear those complaints or think about those things, I think about the temporalis. One of the things I'll do uh, when they're laying down here is just have them, uh, can you just clench for me a little bit? And relax. Clench again. Relax. So what I'm just trying to get a sense of, you know, and if it doesn't hurt them, you know, where do I feel, feel the most muscle bulk, you know, come into my fingers? Because that just tends to be where I might find more of the trigger points. Uh, clench, yeah, you saw here, right? Mm -hmm. Both sides the same? The right. The right's the worst. And that's the familiar headache. It is, mm -hmm. okay. And, and on a scale of zero to 10, like what rating would you give this? Three. So, okay, so not too bad. But what I will encourage you to do with your patients, especially if they're like, oh my God, that's like a nine out of 10, right? Is then I'm like, you know, this is roughly how hard I'm pressing on you. Mm -hmm. So they know that you're not, you know, because they, especially when you do the intraoral, they'll think you have them in a vice grip and they're not gonna tell you, they just may never come back again. Mm -hmm. So make sure you remind them like, you know, I know it probably feels like I'm grabbing you really hard, but this is how hard I am. You know, you're just that sensitive. You know, now you're validating them, you know? So I think that's just important. Um, and then I would do the same with the masseter real quick, just to say, can you clench for me? And relax, clench again. So I, again, I'm just looking to see if there's general symmetry of just girth or hypertrophy of the tissue, because sometimes one side will be blatantly hypertrophied and there'll be nothing on the other side, you know? And I, so that's gonna make me think, you know, maybe they're only chewing, you know, what could be going on? Maybe that could be more of an occlusal fault like you heard, you know, Bill talk about if there's one side that's, bothered, you know, uh, off a little bit and maybe it's causing continued activation of the right and the left side or sometimes you know if you catch us we all get hung up if you notice there's something not right about a tooth and you kind of are constantly just you know tapping it sensing it that type of thing so remember the orientation but generally you know so we got our anterior our middle and then our posterior fiber so uh, clench again I will yeah well she's she's got a pretty well developed temporalis everywhere. For some people, usually by the time I get to the middle, I don't feel a lot. That's just been my general opinion and experience. Clench again, and then some, you know, usually not as much, relax. Not as much back here, clench again. Now a little bit on her, relax, and again. Here, not bad. 